Pure stock feature on the speedway. Pure stock feature underway here at Scottsburg. Down the back straight away they go. Mickey Hines out front, then it's Jim Ruddick in the second spot, Chris Workman, then Brad Kemp and Clay Ellison rounding out your door. We got one heavy up in smoke. Down the back straight away, the caution's out. Caution is out on the speedway. The 22 of Cranmer completely grenaded one down the back straight away. Here we go, back underway. Mickey Hines out front. Ruddick and Workman are on second and third. Applegate's up to fourth. And he's off the pace. The 51 is out as well. Ruddick trying to catch up to the 43 of Hines. Seventy-one of Walters goes pit side. As Jim Ruddick is working on Hines for the lead. Here comes your leaders. It's Hines at the line. Oh, and the 15 or the 98 of Mulvaney up in smoke here on the front straightaway. He'll pull it out, so the 98 of Mulvaney goes pit side. Ruddick underneath Hines for the lead down the back straightaway. Hines and Ruddick still one and two. Ruddick still trying to hound Hines for the lead. As a lap car of Alan Cook sits in front of them, Workman runs in the third spot. Clay Ellison fourth, Caleb Bunch fifth. Now the front straightaway, still trying to get her on that lap car. And the yellow is going to fly. Caution is out. The 98 of Mulvaney, not far enough off the uh, racetrack, off turn number two. In case a car goes flying off turn two, he is not in a safe position. Here we go. And we've got us a mess up in turn four and on the front stretch. 
All right, Mickey Hines out front, nine laps in. Let's see how long Jimmy Reddick can hold on. Halfway coming up this time by. Getting those 10 pound flag sticks up halfway this time by. That left front is completely flat on the seven car. Reddick trying to hang on as Chris Workman's now into that second spot. Who needs the left front? Clay Ellison runs in that fourth spot. Caleb Bunch in fifth. Now Ellison to the inside of Ruddick. Ruddick fights back to the outside, all on a flat tire. The 11 goes pit side of box. And a seven of Ruddick. Decides he's had enough. And Mickey Hines, your leader off the pace in turn number one. Mickey Hines off the pace, Chris Workman now your leader. He's won everything this past couple of weeks. Four to go this time by for Workman. Three to go, excuse me, three to go. It'll be two to go this time by. Two laps to go this time by a white flag coming up. Out of turn four this time by white flag one to go. It's hard for Workman to miss that big thing. Watch when he comes. Watch when he comes by. He's gonna slap Workman in the face with it when he comes down the front stretch. Out of turn four. Your winner, the number 46 of Chris Workman. Duck! <laughs> he takes the win. <laughs> Ellison comes home second, Bunch third, Beeler fourth. And who's gonna round out the top five way back there coming out of four? Looks like Bennett in the 92. And it is. Tell you what, this has been a heck of a, a heck of a past couple of weeks for you. Yeah, if you told me I was gonna run this good this late in the season, I told you he was full of it, but uh, the old car was running good. We, we definitely wasn't the uh, fastest cars out. You know, uh, Mickey, Mickey had a good run, uh, Jimmy had a good run. We were just hanging out. Uh, I think we picked the wrong gear for this track, but we uh, we was in the right place at the right time. What went through your mind when you saw Mickey break, you know, in the one there? 
I was just hoping that he wasn't going to shoot for the pit road because um, I was coming on the outside of him. So I uh, seen him going the inside, and uh, I knew we uh, – I was just trying to count the laps from there. You said uh, you were coming around the car. You said you might have broke the rear end. Uh, yeah, yeah, it looked like he was spewing something out of the right rear, and, and maybe the wheels were locking up. So I'd say he probably broke a gear. Tell you what, though, I mean, you got some overflow coming out of here. I know you got a lot of people you want to give thanks to. Uh, I got a lot of sponsors, uh, TNS Salvage, RC Laser, Lemmy Law Office, Workman's Towing, um, all, my, all my guys back at the shop that always help me out. Um, I, I just can't say enough for them. You going to see you tomorrow at Twin Cities? I think we're going to have to pass on that, but uh, I got to work. Dang, work getting in the way of fun, right? Yeah, always. All right, race fans, your winner here at Scottsburg, Chris Workman. Hey, what? Hey, what? Hey, what? Hey, what? Hey, what? Hey, what?